All right, hello. So I got ah oh man, kind of bummed out this morning in Subnautica. This pawn suit didn't turn out as good as I thought it would be. Part of me is wondering if it's glitching out. I'm not sure. We're gonna test it more. It doesn't make sense to me that the rocket booster went forward before and then it started making me go backwards. I don't know if I pressed something. We gotta look at the controls. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. It almost looks like it's still happening. It's just automatically moving. <clears throat> no, yeah, why does it automatically go backwards? Calorie intake recommended. Crazy. Powerful rear mount with jets. That's what I don't understand. The jets here are on the back, right? So this should push me forward. That goes up. That's right. Oh my god, look, it's working. I'm going forwards now. What? What was happening before where I was going backwards? Hold on, so now it works. Now I'm going forwards. Now I literally can't go backwards even if I try. Oh my god, this game is so bugged. Back underwater? Oh my god, so yeah, like, I don't think I'm gonna use this mech suit. It actually seems bugged. So I got out of it, got back in. Now I can't even go backwards, even if I'm doing back on the controller. And it actually goes forward again. Look at this. It goes forward. So all it was, it literally just bugged out before. Uh, like I, I don't, I don't understand this game actually, but I don't know, man. Trying to understand other developers' bugs is not a good idea. Stabilizing. Let's catch some fish to eat. Vital signs stabilizing. Yummy. Eye fish. So now that the prawn suit's fixed, <clears throat> I'm actually wondering about going back down here. I wonder if part of the reason I was having such an issue going 
You know what? Remember how I was saying the flashlight was pointed down before? Hold on, wait a second. So before, part of my other issue was that I thought the... or when I was down, I was down there and I was trying to go up and the flashlight was just pointed, wasn't pointed, uh, didn't point where you look. So now... Oh, it's exactly the same. Okay, so the flashlight still sucks. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. Well, let's find the way to this habitat. I had to guess it's probably close to the um, Officer Keenan wreck, which is another wreck we found over here. Hold on one second. Alright, well I guess we are going down here. <laughs> it's crazy just falling a hundred meters. So the habitat is over there. I feel like this part does go to the habitat because it's deeper. It is, um, it's way too quiet, like way too quiet down here. versions of the ones on land. And it sticks to my ship. direction of where we're trying to go. I wonder if I should go deeper. It obviously goes deeper there. Oh, we're going deeper. <coughs> Local scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. Oh, 
Oh lord. So we're getting down to a completely different biome now. Yeah, I don't think this is... Uh... Man, these cave systems must be huge. Well, we actually have full, uh, we're full of items. I might go back to the base. Put those in. Was that? Yeah, man, they do, they're really good at scary sounds in this game. This is metal? Gonna be good practice for uh, using this prawn suit. Oh, fuck. Unless something attacks me. Can you stop? Oh, it didn't grab on. Shit. This is, uh, this is so hard. I actually think using the submarine, the Seamoth, might be so much better for this, because this is like... <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my god, and you can't grapple and attack at the... For some reason, you have two arms, but if you attack... While you grapple, it makes you fall. Uh, why do you even have two arms if you can't use them both? So I guess if you attack and then grapple, you can get an attack in and still grapple, but it's like... There's no reason I can think of... Oh, fuck. There goes my suit. Yeah man, this mech suit sucks. They gave you this whole thing about how it makes you feel all powerful and invincible and it's like the weakest thing ever. It's slow. It can't even attack anything.
And it, oh my god, it's just so goddamn slow. And it's like, why does the light not point where you look? Why is the light constantly pointed, like, there? It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Guns and exploration game. There's a torpedo, but apparently it sucks. Oh, we made it. There we go. Hello, forensic arsonist. Uh, that sucked. This mech sucks. Also, I don't know what it is, but the game's starting to get more choppy. Like, I've noticed the farther we get in our playthrough, the more it starts to stutter and lag. I don't know what that is, but... It's the only thing you can use at a certain depth, so you learn to love it. Man, I, like, I love going out and swimming a million times more and using this thing. It sucks. At least compared to the submarine. Crush depth and say otherwise. Oh my god, man, if you gotta deal with this horrible movement, I, I gotta be honest, that's gonna be really annoying. Like, this thing is not fun to use. I, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> like, the grappling hook is one of the weakest grappling hooks I've seen in games. And by weak, I mean like it doesn't really do much. The storage container on it is probably the best part. to make another locker. <laughs> Maybe. Eh, I should anyways. We're gonna be good on resources for a while as well.
don't feel like maybe I should switch out the batteries of these. Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. I wonder if we're going to get any more radio messages. We haven't got radio messages for like a very long time. nuclear reactor now. Blast steel and advanced wiring kit lead. <laughs> Is there a way I can fit one more in here? I wonder if you could fit past that. Uh, that would be bad. And I'll only put something there if we're running out of space. Trying to figure out what is the most efficient way to place lockers. I think putting them in a row. Although you can't can't seem to put them too close. Like, why can't I place it there? I don't know. go. Yeah, so I just had like a freeze on the inventory screen and it it's just happening more and more as we play the game like it's only getting worse. Oh man. I'm actually worried when I see like stuff like that. It's like it makes me think it could ruin the whole save. I, wait, I, have, I actually have a theory about this. Um, so I saw a whole bunch of teeth on the ground somewhere by my base. I'm wondering, do, so I also noticed these salt, these salt deposits that I dropped on the ground stayed here. They've stayed here forever since I dropped them. I'm thinking every item that goes on the ground, yeah, here they are. So there's like 20 teeth all across here. I think every item that goes on the ground is like an actual object in the world, but they load in and out. And I think that's what this, these stutters are, is there's just becoming so many objects in the world that the game starts lagging. I don't know.
we still don't know what polyaniline is. Oh, we can make a year react. Oh, you need one lead for each reactor you brought. Hmm. Poly. There. Times two tall. Polyaniline. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, wait, we're low on energy. We gotta exchange power cells. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so apparently you can really fling yourself with this grappling hook. Maybe I should keep a spare power cell. Oh my god, there's two power cells. It uses two. Oh no. So happy I built these power cell and battery chargers. Oh, yeah, I feel like I should build that um, reinforced suit that I can go closer to heat. I don't know if I need it yet. I don't think I'm going to do it because I'm actually kind of short on like items or like stuff like blood oil. Also, there was, so I'm thinking there was actually a shipwreck I'm pretty sure I was exploring by this Degas when I was uh, going to this Degasi habitat. Let's uh, plant the blood oil. Oh, good call. I, n I still need to build an exterior grow bed. Down we go, into the darkness. Let me see if I can line this up and we'll go straight down without even hitting the surface. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. find our way to have the title over there. So what about right here? Whoa, that goes down. I like how the prawn suit can actually go through these tunnels. Alright, let's go look for this Degasi habitat. I think we actually, this is actually the way now. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Oh fuck, and there's a crab squid. Two crab squids. Alright, maybe we'll just leave our prawn suit there where it's relatively safe. We're gonna save for good measure. Oh, fuck. That looks dangerous. Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Titanium mass? Oh no, is it- it's attacking my prawn suit! This is why I saved. I'm gonna see if it actually destroys the prawn suit. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her! I said others would come! The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, made it appear out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. Certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then. I thought I saw a light. Alright, we're, we're restarting because that did way too much damage. Oh, whoa, it's still playing the audio? Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. It's weird how good this game is, but at the same time buggy. <laughs> it's interesting.
man, I wish it loaded in quicker. Oh, I got it. Hell yeah. You can read that afterwards. Or read it now while it's there. This large predator can be found in deep waters where it looks like the blood cup. Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Alright, guess she's reading instead. Um Pen limbs feature different appendages. For swimming, walking, hunting, and possibly even tool use. Wait, tool use? Holy shit, if these crab squids are intelligent, we're fucked. Creatures caught in its grasp are expertly butchered and quickly consumed. Rays and other illuminated herbivores are its usual prey and will approach and attack any light source in the vicinity. Its EMP blast was likely developed as a response to predation by creatures with electrical hunting me mechanisms. Crab squids appear to have large brains and a resemblance to intelligent squids on Earth. Earth. The organ inside the creature's stomach is in fact the creature's head is in fact its stomach, which it must eat fill startlingly regularly. So that's not its brain. That's its stomach. That's actually hilarious. The animals in this game are great. Wait, did I not... Oh, I didn't grab that there. We'll listen to this again. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her! I said others would come! The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Mather appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, and a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light. Deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Welcome to the Captain. Surely has the scent of my blood. Dick. Get the stuff? I'm taking my time. Oh, this takes really long to repair. That is creepy. They're really good at making some scary monsters in this game. I'm really worried that he's gonna destroy my prawn suit. Dissolve us into jelly. It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Upper floor access from that side. All right. Seek 
Man, that thing is really annoying. Oh, this is the big aquarium. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, Chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. That we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I knew you could hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Vital signs stabilizing. Near blueprint active. All right, I think I got it. I think I got everything. Hell out of here, this place. Oh no! Say, kid, I brought you some. Is that a Leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No. Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? Oh no! What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord? Or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every call the damn federation! Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oh god. Oh man, this grappling hook is so slow. Well, this whole mech is slow. I hope to god the suit upgrade actually makes it much better. Because <laughs> this is just like, oh god. Like, look at this, it can't even step up a ledge. It's it's honestly pathetic. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine putting a mech in a game and then it's saying how impossibly strong it is and it's just the weakest thing ever that can barely move. Here we go. Wait. We're still 300 meters down. Oh, we got a radio message. Dude, the movement on this mech is so fucking bad. How did the devs think this was good? Like, that's my question. In a game where you have your own goddamn submarine that's like a spaceship, 
how did the devs think this was a good movement system after that? It's almost like they just had a console where they teleported everywhere. There's a bunch of lag in this game though, like even when I get in the prawn suit there, the game freezes for one to two seconds at least. I, I gotta be honest, I feel like everything is taking 10 times longer. Well, not I feel, I know. Everything is taking 10 times longer now that we're using this mech suit because it moves so slow. Which is actually bugging the shit out of me. Like, they actually just force you just because everything in the game is past a certain depth. Oh, now you've got to use this vehicle that's way slower than the other one. Oh my god. So the Sea Glide has a depth module. Let's look at making that. Also, we got an orange tablet, which we've never, never seen that before. Raise the fish. See, that's the thing, though, is like, I'm not about spending, um, I only like, I only build things I need, and I don't think I need a fish. It's the same reason I haven't built a grow bed, is because I don't need food. This device hums slightly and displays an orange lit symbol re resembling an N. They offer away, yeah, so it probably, we had one for the purple tablet. Or we found like a, a we used the purple tablet to enter that one base, so there's probably a different area. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Also, wait, actually, how close are we to building the Cyclops? 
is if we're looking at doing... So you know what? I might look at finding the Cyclops. Because I could just build the depth module for the Cyclops instead. It's exactly the same. Wait, where is the Cyclops depth module 1? There's depth module 2, depth module 3. Oh, here's the Cyclops depth module 1. Alright, where can we find the Cyclops? So we found the hull randomly on the ground in one, like in the red grassy area by the shipwreck. So I'm almost wondering, and like we found all the other prawn suits in the Aurora. So I'm thinking we should actually go around the Aurora ship to look for prawn suit parts. Or sorry, Cyclops parts. And that would actually be a uh, nice thing to use. It gives us something to use our Seamoth for. Oh wait, we also got a radio message. Let's see what that is. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. Oh, we'll CTOU. Have to the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll Leaf. make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. We already Safe found the their. Um, to PDA. We found a recording with CTOU at the one island, so. We already know that they escaped. Well, that's far away as well. But it might have something cool there. We'll go there eventually. But right now, we're going to go to the Aurora. And we're going to explore around the Aurora for Cyclops parts. So we actually ended up exploring the front end, around the front end over there, so we're going to go to the back here. Oh yeah, like, so in these barren area, in this barren area, there's all these um, salvage parts, and like, is this a data box? The pie crate? There's all this stuff from the sh crash that I'm pretty sure we'll eventually find a Cyclops part. That's a Cyclops part. Oh, we already found the bridge. Anyways, that's a good sign, a Cyclops part.
So I'm hearing some scary noises right here, and it is, uh, it is not motivating me. Reaper. Well, I got the light out, so I'll see anything coming. Man, I hate... actually... I won't really see it coming, will I? It's just a big pitch black void there. Cyclops bridge fragment. Already got the bridge. We're finding parts for stuff we already have. Oh god, this is terrifying. Alright, I should just stop staring at the black void. Oh my god, it's all black, and oh my god, I can clip into the... The most terrifying part about this is clipping into the giant ship. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I am hearing some screaming. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh lord. That's a big animal. I'm I'm just gonna hide back here. Oh my god, it throws. There we go. So I'm guessing that's the Reaper. I didn't get to scan it. Oh. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Oh, man. It's good at, it's good at sneaking up on you. Holy shit. Reaper Leviathan. I think I found a... I think I found a spot that's safe from it, though. Holy shit, that's scary. That's a good one. That's a that's a good one. This game is great. Stuff like that. Dude, the best part of this game is just swimming around and... Oh no, it's coming back. Oh fuck, I should have brought the sea glide. Stay there so I can scan you. Booyah. Thank you for glitching out. <laughs> he's bugged. Oh, he's got his forehead to the rock. <laughs> you okay? He's pretty pissed. Oh shit! <laughs> That's what I get for laughing at him. Oh my god, look at that. that's a big boy. Levi Leviathan class species are vast organisms at the top of their respective food chain. The species is a streamlined hunter with highly developed senses, powerful mandibles. This Leviathan is capable of locking prey in place with four powerful mandibles, drawing it within reach of its jaws. Oh shit, I forgot oxygen. Please don't follow me. Okay, that was not terrifying at all. The deep roar emitted by the Reaper at regular intervals is effectively sonar. If you can hear it, the Reaper can see you. Well, shit. Scanned specimen measured 55 meters long. Observed circling its prey and attacking from behind. This creature is almost... All muscle, very little brain, no sense of morality, just muscles, synapses, and teeth. Congratulations on getting close enough to scan it and living to see the results. Nice. Oh, God. That wasn't scary at all. Hold on, I'll be right back. I actually got to go and do something. Like five minutes. Shouldn't take that long.
All right, sorry about that. I have to get stuff ready for dinner. All right, so one of the things I also thought about is we don't sit and read this PDA enough. We should probably do this when we're back at our base. But like, there's so much information that they just give you here. Like these survivor notes we picked up from the underground Degasi base. I don't know if it was Art's log. We're, we're sick. We've been coughing, feeling sicky. Biometrics. It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet is altering our genetic code. How are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Only oh got some of them open. So this is like the same thing we're infected with. Oh fuck. Nope. Nope. Oh, that was close. Oh god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, let's just go for it. Screw it. We can go deep under here where the Reaper hopefully can't get us. Also seems like a good point to search from. This we can't. Uh, what? glitched inside. Oh no. No, 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 no. That's the Cyclops engine fragment. This is what we need. We need one more. Oh, there it is. Dude, I love how they put all this good stuff in this super risky area where the Reaper is attacking you. That's actually like, there's some really good stuff in this game. So are we on the one side of the Aurora, or is this just the one side of the drive of the Aurora? Or one of the engines of the Aurora? That, like, oh my god, I think this is just one of the engines. Oh shit, he's waiting for me. We're just gonna get the hell out of here. We got what we came for.
What's gonna be funny now is if we don't have the cryonite or whatever to craft it. Get some food while we're out here. Another radio message. Translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. What? What? Wait, so before they said there were nine targets. We got an alien message saying there were nine targets, and so now. Apparently they've wiped out all of the targets. Wait, except for new targets unaccounted for. One, is that us? I think that's us. Hold on one second, I gotta check on something. Alright, man, that, oh, that Reaper was so cool. Okay, let's see what we need for the Cyclops. Glass steel ingot, an ammo glass, lubricant, advanced wiring kit, lead. We don't need any advanced materials. We could actually make this right now. So we'll, let's start with the plasteel ingots. Gonna be a lot of titanium. And lead for each and titanium, I think. Or sorry, lithium. Oh no, I didn't need to pick up that poster. Maybe I should put this somewhere where I can't easily pick it up.
Nice. Oh yeah, I definitely don't have enough titanium. Maybe, actually, never mind. That one lockbox had a bunch of titanium. I'm gonna need to go and mine titanium though, after this. It's all very low. Let's see how many we got. We have three. I didn't grab enough lithium, I know that. Oh no, not quite enough. We got seven instead of ten. So we need to go grab some more titanium from somewhere. Oh, here we go. I can go pick up a bunch of metal scrap that's lying around to get more titanium too. Alright, here we go. This will be all the plasteel ingots. Now what? Enameled glass, lubricant, lead. Oh, we've got the stalker teeth. And we've got quartz. Wherever Docker teeth are. There's one. Oh yeah, I just have them sitting on the ground outside. I forgot. I'm not picking them up because there are a whole bunch of stalker teeth on the ground out here. Yeah, right here. There we go. <laughs> So I wonder if you could just put items on the ground instead of getting a storage container. Now how much glass is it again? Three? Yeah, three. Alright, now I'm pretty sure we got loop again. If not, you know what? I don't think we have lubricant. So I'm and even if we do we only have like one, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab more.
Oh yeah, I crafted a bunch of these into rubber instead of lubricant. And now I'll have lubricant. Hold on, I will be right back. Okay. Now just the advanced wiring kit. Oh no, we're almost out of power. Go and get some organic material. Two silver for the wiring kit. Two table coral for that. Off the wire. Silver. That's everything. Need the three lead. Oh boy, this is it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Industrial use submarine. Must be constructed in deep the water. What? Deeper water. Alright, 
How about this? Cannot build here. Must okay. be constructed the water. Why does it need to be this deep? Is the submarine at like a goddamn spaceship? <laughs> Designed to be operated by a three person team. The Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three person crew. Only experienced helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my god! No goddamn way. I don't know why it needed to be this deep, but... Where do I get in? Oh. Ward Cyclops. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. No way. Three power cells. Upgrades. Even more power cells, a fire extinguisher, decoy loading tube. What is this? No vehicle docked. So, okay, I don't know. Modification station. We can go to the lower deck here. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of storage containers in it. No fucking way. <laughs> we can change the color. Change it to red, just like our Quran suit, so we can see it. Engine offline. Rig for silent running. Engine powering up. Speed. Emergency speed. Warning. Vessel calibrated. Excessive noise. Seek fluid intake. Warning. Engine overheat. Oh, so it can only go at standard. Can only go at that speed for so long. It's really hard for me to tell how fast am I even moving here. So this, yeah, this actually moves about the speed of the Seamoth. Oh my god, that's insane. I'm going to park this bad boy right here. Okay, I gotta see this compared to my Seamoth. Let me... <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my god, it's bigger than my base. 
That's amazing. Alright, I'm gonna catch some food. Is this thing not going to release? There we go. Oh my god, this is nuts. Look at the size. <laughs> Look at the size between them. Oh my god. So does it have a marker on my... Uh... Yeah, it does. Cyclops. Alright. So hold on. Welcome aboard, Captain. Wait. suit docked. Holy shit. Dude, this is a game changer. This like, this completely changes it. Oh my god. I can drive my prawn suit everywhere now. Oh god. I don't even know where to go from here. Oh, and I forgot to power down the engine to the sub. So I feel like we should build the depth module for this maybe. So that it can go deeper, or the engine efficiency. Oh, we need poly. I mean, we could build this. Repairs vehicles docked, we don't need that. I definitely think, yeah, the, the depth module. Unless we just drove the submarine over where we wanted to go and then dropped the bronze suit, but I don't think that's... That's a good approach. Oh yeah, gotta remember, turn off the engine. Engine powering down. Oh, there's a horn! steel ingot and three rubies. We need more titanium. We can go and grab.
summon friends to the stream or welcome. Vital signs stabilizing. I think now I'm just going to use the sea moth for driving around like close to the base and I'll use the cyclops for long missions going like deep. star I feel like a dick for stealing this metal from them but So I'll grab three rubies while I'm here. But then I also need lithium. Last dealing bit. I have to still have lithium somewhere. Oh yeah, right there. Imagine actually organizing your lockers. I can't imagine that. Raise the fish, Ethan. Uh, let me at least look what the look what the aquarium takes to build. I actually didn't even look to see what the cyclops can go to right now. Alien compartment. Five glass to titanium. That's actually really cheap. I'll make that. Five glass. Oh, wait. Actually, wait. Five glass? It's a lot of quartz. But still, I don't think that's that bad. Ten quartz. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I need to build the upgrade here. Oh, this doesn't have Cyclops modules here. so cool. You can turn off the internal lighting. I love the little control like this they give you in the game. But I think we actually saw an upgrade console. We get access upgrades. We get make upgrades. Depth module MK1. Okay, so let's see what it can dive to now. Five 
500 meters. Oh, that's really good. That's already actually really good. What is this? Crush depth now 900 meters. That is awesome. Now this thing can go to the same depth as the prawn suit. I think we might be ready to go on a nice long mission. I'm just worried about how fast the power cells will go down on that thing. Where should we go? I don't know. I'll build the aquarium before we go though, so the egg hatches. Um, I do have enough quartz, I believe, because I mined. I did mine a quartz rock, so I should have a whole bunch of quartz. Need one more. Oh my god, if I don't have that last piece of quartz. Oh my god, I don't. I thought I got more quartz from one of those quartz ores that I mined. I guess not. Well, I can go quickly grab some. There's this cave right here that I just go into whenever I want to grab something. Although, I guess it's pretty empty now. What?! Those have never killed me before! <laughs> Wait, when was my last save? Two minutes. We're reloading. That was absolutely nuts. What was that? Go southwest. Are you miracles? Maybe. Southwest. Maybe. Did I build the upgrade here? Yeah, I did. Sea treaders. Okay, so now let's go and get quartz without dying. Alright, now we can make the aquarium. Welcome aboard, Captain.
we not? Oh, we have titanium in our backpack. Alright. Five glass, then we can make this aquarium. And I think I'll also make, need to make it another compartment in my base for it. Make room. I'm gonna have to go and just farm titanium for a bit. Find some deposits or something. Let's see how big this aquarium is. Oh yeah, that is that is massive. That's like a whole room. So you obviously need to put that at like the center of a multi-purpose room, like the bioreactor here. Alright, so we're gonna look at building another multi-purpose room. Due to weak hull strength of negative one, build reinforcements or remove weak parts. Wait, what? What does this mean? Reinforcements. I'm pretty sure the foundation. Reinforced habitat foundation. We're gonna deconstruct this while the. I don't know what I actually need to do. So I guess I need to build a foundation to increase the hull strength. Did this just shut everything down? All the lights are off and everything now. Did that just mess everything up? Yeah, everything is offline. Oh yeah, so it was flooding I guess. Oh no! Oh god. I wish it explained hull strength to me before. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Alright, so I guess we're not expanding our base anytime soon. Unless I build a reinforced foundation. the cuttlefish. What is it? I don't know if I want to spoil what I need it for. But I need it, need it. Like, need it to... Is there, like... You'll want it? Like, I'm not gonna die or anything if I don't have it, will I? So what direction is southwest? Southwest is that other island. Alright, we can go on an adventure there. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Engine powering up. Camera one, keel. Pickle cameras. That's amazing. We've got a bunch of different views. Break for silent running.
Alright, aligning southwest. And we go. Oh god, I hope this isn't too shallow. What is this saying? Oh, that's saying it's too shallow. from the outside. So this might be the problem with driving a giant submarine like this. Um, how do I, how do I even get it around here? This is gonna be interesting to get a hang of. health is right here, it's still got full health. But we've already gone through 10% energy. I wish I could... can I disable this this hologram right here? Because it's kind of blocking my view right there. I give you all these options to disable all these things, but is there no option to disable a hologram? I don't think there is. Here we go. Southwest. <laughs> I think if we can start going down to the sea floor now. It keeps bringing that marker up even though it's nowhere close to the sea floor. Yeah, what is it? What is it saying there? Okay, actually, wait. I don't need to get out of the ship to see this. I can activate the cameras. Oh my god, it has these things hanging down from the ground. It actually is close to touching the ground. Alright, well now I know. This thing is so much bigger than I realize. this the head is down. So this is almost like a portable base
All right, here we go. We're southwest. An eye out for the big fish. I might take my prawn suit out here. Hold on, though. I gotta go do something. Yo, know, it always scares me when I save and the game completely freezes there for a few seconds. I'll be like two minutes. I'm sorry, that'll be uh, the end of the stream for now. I'll probably be back online in like an hour or two. We'll see. I don't know. 
Thanks to anyone who watched the stream tonight. I hope you're enjoying Subnautica. I'll uh, I'll see you around. Hope you have a good night.